Greetings, everyone. My name is Jonathan Bailey, and I'm from the site Plagiarism Today, which can be found at plagiarismtoday.com. And today is Friday, everyone. Friday, Friday, you gotta get down on Friday. Yes, you're gonna have that stuck in your head all day. You can thank me later. But no, the point of today is that we do not talk about copyright and plagiarism issues. We talk about technology and whatever's on my brain there. And today, well, I've been kind of on a um, web browser kick with these weekly... Um, video log thingies, so I'm um, seeing no reason to change course, and if my neighbors, who are currently apparently demolishing a van right outside my window, um, will enable this to continue, uh, we will do our best. But today I wanted to talk about Opera 12. Opera uh, released a new beta of their upcoming uh, 12 version, which is aimed almost exclusively, this in particular set of improvements is aimed almost exclusively at us Mac users. and. What they're doing with this one is it's basically performance improvements, uh, stability improvements. I think they upgraded the 64-bit architecture supporting that for Mac. And also adding in a whole bunch of features like sandboxing and so forth that will be necessary for a uh, mountain lion coming out later this summer. But long story short, um, I decided to give it a whirl. And to kind of give you a perspective of where I'm coming from with Opera, it's the, it's the browser I really want to love, if that makes any sense. Um, it's got a tremendously awesome pedigree. Uh, first browser with tab browsing in 1994. Uh, first one with a built-in pop-up blocker, I believe, in 2000. Uh, huge, huge pedigree on this. Um, long story short, they've definitely done a lot of firsts, and they've been real innovators historically, and they continue to be innovators today. But in the past few years, they've really fallen on hard times. It's just been very difficult for poor Opera because... Um, with Chrome and Firefox kind of dominating that that market and can be dominating the market of holding Internet Explorer's feet to the fire at the very least and sort of pushing the innovation along, um, Opera's kind of fallen into a distant, you know, fourth, if you think about it. I mean, you've got the big three, i.e. Chrome, Firefox, and then you've got Opera that's way back there, and you kind of have Safari too, but I kind of chalk up Safari to being just a weird bastardized version of Chrome since it's all... WebKit, my personal take, and since Opera is such a, a distant player, and they use their own rendering engine, they're not, you know, like Internet Explorer, WebKit, or Gecko, um, it comes with drawbacks and hiccups, and for example, the first thing I do when I install a new version of Opera, and yes, I do install a new version of Opera pretty regularly, is I race over to uh, Google Docs, which I guess now for me is Google Drive, but it's a separate issue. Um, Go over there and I just try to work on a file. And what a coinkydink! Um, today I had a article due this morning. Had to, I had it already written, but I had to finish editing it, um, do a proofread of it, and send it on its add links, and formatting, and send it on its way. So I'm thinking, oh well, great. I'll just finish it in Opera. We'll see if it works. And actually, Google Docs mostly work. Traditionally, I've not been able to get Google Docs to work, or it's worked very sluggishly. Um, but this time around, 90% of the things I try to do in Google Docs actually work reasonably well. The one thing I was missing, which was very important, and which is extremely important, is all of the uh, command functions were wor not working in Google Docs. So like uh, Command A to select all, co Command C um, to copy, or Command V to paste. None of those worked. But like I said, typing and just generally working in it was fine, but still those that, that, that lacking feature makes um, Opera pretty useless for working in Google Drive or Google Docs. But other than that, I've got to say the browser wasn't that bad. It was relatively lightweight, moved well, did not use a lot of RAM. I think it was lighter on RAM even after some heavy use than um, either Google Chrome or Firefox. And I didn't notice any major um, HTML. In fact, I kind of tried to screw with it by loading up a Seismic Web and seeing if it would manage to pull that down. It did it fine. Um, I can't really testify to any speed improvements. I don't use Opera regularly enough. I can't even really think of the last time I used Opera for longer than a few hours. But it seems more stable than the uh, previous versions of 12 beta I've tinkered with. And it seems more stable than 11. It seems more at least usable than 11, which is what's out right now. So, I mean, if you're going to try Opera, uh, download this latest 12 beta and give it a shot. You might like it, but... Honestly, for me, I don't see a reason to switch from Chrome to Opera other than it's fun and it's amusing. It, it kills a morning. But there's no valid reason to switch. They don't give you that 
that this is why you want Opera. <clears throat> Just like Firefox right now hasn't given me the reason I that, to, that you need Firefox for this reason. There's no stamp, no reason, and frankly, Opera's extension library is lacking. I think they just got Buffer um, as an extension, which is one I use all the time in Chrome and Firefox. So they need to work on their extension library, getting more developers on board, and they need uh, to work on their support of major sites like Google Drive and also Gmail. Um, but all in all, this one's definitely a, a big step ahead of the previous version. So if you're curious about Opera, want to give it a shot. Opera 12 Beta, go to the site and download it. That's all I want to say. Um, not much else to say about Opera, really. I didn't get to spend as much time with it as I had the other browsers, so I'm kind of limited in what I can put out there. But um, I'll probably do another update on Opera maybe next week or maybe sometime soon. But until then, this is Jonathan Bailey signing off.